to Seat Story Cup 3. This is Frodan with Artosis and Lothar. The first time I'm on the couch since yeah. my abysmal performance yesterday. In fact, it's a little bit... Uh, it hurts that Lothar, my opponent who took me down on stream, is casting with me, but it's good. How are you guys doing? He was a bully. You know that? He, Lothar I is was? a bully. People but you know what? We're casting now, and you're going to outcast him like crazy. That's it what's going to happen. my domain. Are you're going to show him what's up. Can you keep up? Well, I'll, I'm going to spit try. hot fire. <laughs> well, if you'll be talking so fast, I, will, I, I don't even have a chance to reply, you know? That's that's exactly. Well, the why'd game you cast so many spells against Fred and in Hearthstone? <laughs> it's your own fault. You did this to you. But before we do that, we want to talk about a quick promo that's coming up, guys, uh, on the stream. Let's go to facebook.com slash uh, take TV, and we want to talk about a raffle that's going on too. Uh, if you click on this button, it's straight in the middle. It says Sea Story Cup Three Raffle. Uh, you have an opportunity to win a chair. Uh, of your choice, it's Max Nomic, as well as some of the shirts and hoodies that you've been seeing us uh, wear, as well as Heroes of the Storm beta keys, really fun stuff. All you have to do is register, put your name in, your first name and your last name, uh, and then your email, street, zip code, city, and country. And then it's a global, anyone can enter, but that's all the information you have to put in. Pretty easy, that's right? That's pretty sick, man. What, what's uh, easier, registering really for seats. this tournament or beating Frodan in Seat Story Cup 3, Lothar? I would say it's beating you. <laughs> okay. Well, have you have you registered for this yet? I can't write. Well, then I guess this is actually harder for you. I believe yeah. it. This I bully believe. man, I swear. Uh, but guys, wow. definitely go and do that. Uh, you know, <laughs> need for seat is why we have seat story cup. So definitely yeah. want to enter that, and you definitely want one of these seats. I wish I had one of these seats. You right. don't know? I do not have one. I don't think that they sell them in Korea. So or sh or ship them, huh? Is it? Is it it's they might tough. ship them, but I mean. I'd rather win one in a raffle like this. Gotcha, so maybe, yeah. maybe I'll go and enter. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good, guys. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash take TV. Uh, so uh, with that said, let's go ahead and talk about our upcoming match. We have Amaz from Team Archon versus Gara from Team Tempo Storm. This one's a really cool one, uh, especially because Amaz and Gara have faced off a lot in the past, dating back to a year ago. In fact, uh, Amaz's first big tournament and Gara's Bucharest. first big yeah, tournament yeah. Yeah. in Bucharest. They met in the round of four. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then Gara won and went on to win the entire thing. Yeah, yeah. That, that's uh, that's quite true. And these two are definitely one of the two of the best and like most solid performers in Hearthstone. Like I, anytime I see either of these guys in turn, I always expect them to get really deep. So, uh, you know, this is. I feel like this is actually the group of death, and it's really funny because I yeah. thought it was the group of death mainly because of these two and Tice, and then Ignite just three out Tice right there. It was like yeah. <laughs> just He's done and over. Player. Yeah, so he had to fight tooth and nail, and uh, you know I think Ignite is definitely feeling really good, you know, being able to destroy Tice like that three zero, and now coming into this match, who's he gonna face against? Do you do you have a prediction, Lothar? I had a prediction when it comes to Gara's lineup because he's always taking out as an anti-aggro man, right? In Dreamhead Bucharest, he played the taunt droid like really, really taunt yeah. heavy, and uh, this time it, it it's different because. You can prepare for your group, so he has Amaz, Ties, and Ignite. So I'm not sure if he will go with that strategy that he is always picking. Uh, but as a as the whole prediction for the whole, for the whole match, I would say Gara will take it. Uh, he's a very solid player and kind of uh, of an innovator when it comes to decks. Mm. Yeah, we have the lineups here, Dan. You yeah, wrote down in your it's a notebook. They they are both bringing a druid deck. I don't know the bands yet, but they both brought druid. And then Gar is playing priest, shaman, paladin. In addition to that, and Amaz is going with mage, warlock, warrior. So like, it's so funny. Man. On the top, I look at him like. Amaz's feels more tournamenty in a certain way because we yeah. have Shaman over here, especially. Well, and then he, like, here's the really funny thing, Artos. Yeah, Gara <coughs> is like coincidentally lined up perfectly for lineup against Amaz. Because, yeah, uh, his his lineup would be super weak to, to classes like Rogue, for example, which is still relatively popular in the tournament scene. Yeah, yeah. pre Shaman you see Paladin Amaz are like, playing Rogue, and exactly. Yeah. it's like Amaz will That's never true. bring Rogue unless forced to in the Via Game House Cup. Yeah. yeah. Um. I, I do have to agree with you. It, it, like on on paper, you look at it and you're like, oh, Amaz, he's bringing classes that you normally see in a tournament. But uh, Gara, look, he's looking good against this. I feel like if he bans that warlock, he's going to be having like pretty good matchups. Yeah, uh, that, that's what we were talking about before. Although it really does depend on what kind of mage Amaz. Brings. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you <clears throat> What do you think, Lothar? What would Amaz ban? Yeah. That's the question. Oh, I'm thinking Paladin. Just because Paladin's decent against uh, it's yeah, still I pretty decent against Druid. It's great against Warrior and Warlock if it's Handlock. Uh, I haven't seen Amaz pick Zoo, but it wouldn't surprise me if he decided to go something weird like a Demon Lock. 
Okay, yeah, I could see like, like a, like a demon lock of or a doom. hand lock. Can you yeah. imagine yeah, Bane, Bane of, of Doom, doom with the Moz? Yeah, Guys, it's, wow. it's Mulgan is 50-50. 50-50. <laughs> right? Oh, God, don't start that again. 50-50 <laughs> on Mulgan. <laughs> Either you get him or you don't, man. It's 50-50. <laughs> yeah, that, Tice works. taught me that yesterday. Uh, All right. Well, you know, I've yeah, seen him play it at Xfinity. I have to think that uh, a lot of that innovation primarily comes from Sixo, because I know he loves playing those demon-esque stuff, like the implosion for a while he was a really big fan of. Like, he helped put it on the map. Uh, and then he was also playing a lot of demon stuff. So if he is, I'm going to be looking at uh, it for being really powerful and explosive. And uh, maybe some shenanigans. Like, it's definitely up a mouse's alley. I'm surprised it didn't bring Priest because he was giving me this big lecture about how, like, yeah, Froden, you brought Priest. And, uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's I'm like, yeah, you brought Priest. Either. And, like, you know, they were lecturing me that I shouldn't bring Priest. And he didn't bring Priest. He made it sound like he did. Uh -huh. It's playing some mind games, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's sad to see Amaz not playing Priest. Uh, but Gara's definitely. bringing Priest, so, you know. Yeah, beat him with his own class. There you go. Well, Gara's known to be a really strong Priest player. Mm. In fact, Gara best Priest. Yeah, that's exactly his username. But then that was taken. So he had to go with another. It's like, well, what's another class that I'm decent at? He had to Google it. It's like, what's the ninth class again? Oh, shaman. <laughs> like everything else was taken. Garbest druid, garbest rogue, yeah. garbest paladin, even garbest monk, and that's not even in Hearthstone. <laughs> uh, you know, about shaman here, it's like a lot of people have been kind of trash talking it lately as being like the weak, weak, weak shaman, class. Yeah. But yesterday it actually did pretty well. Well, it was targeting Druid. Yeah. Uh, so it made a really good job. Uh, and that's that's the purpose. You we will bring Shaman into this tournament. Also, it might be target, targeting Warriors, mm -hmm. right? And what else? Uh, it should suck <laughs> against Paladin, right? Well, it's, this is, we're talking about the Mech Shaman, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super aggressive. Oh, sorry. The aggressive Mech Shaman. Because there's also like the mid range G where you play like you know, pilot shredder power mace and like it's, it's you scale into like the mid game. It should be still good against warriors and druids. Yeah, and still because you get the because power mace is actually like an insane card if you think about it. Um, yeah, it is. But uh, this one we've been seeing from Archon specifically like Sixo and Zelay has Fell Reaver, has Mech Warpers, yeah. has like just all out the world. So Sixo is playing the same one as yeah, Zelay he was. Is. He's okay. being super I think aggressive. I see those. I think overall Mech Shaman's like five and one uh, from yesterday's game. Okay. So yeah. a very good result. And if so, then maybe that's something that he has to consider. And if he's playing Mech Shaman and Mech Mage, it's like, well... That's a lot of Mech. It's a lot of Mech. Oh, Warper. Right. right. Hmm? Meh. Meh? Meh. Mech. Meh. You're indifferent towards it? No, no, no. I, I'm just saying it's so much Mech. Oh, oh my god. That's a Polish joke. Yeah, Is that exactly. like a Polish word? I'm like really confused. <laughs> no, here. he's making a play a pun because it's like mech and meh is like one letter. Oh, uh, so. yeah. Okay, I got you. <laughs> All right. It looks like we're just about ready to get into these games. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're about to start here. I'm not sure exactly who we're supposed to be watching. Uh, I'm spectating Gara. Wait. Oh, okay. So, yeah, go ahead and All right. we'll get this we're started, guys. Start. First match of the day. Uh, get out there, guys, and let everyone know that this is happening. Oh, uh, you know, it's early in the morning still. This is as far as nerds go. Uh, <sighs> well. All right. Well, we're we already getting some answers here. So let's go ahead and jump into this game. Mech Mage no, versus no, uh, Shaman. But Gara, the pizza, Shaman. Gara Best Pizza Man. <laughs> <laughs> That's really Sick. funny because he actually did, he does do that. He always brings pizza to the apartment and asks if people want huh? it. Oh, looks like we have the uh, overlays uh, a little bit off. It says Ignite and Tice, and it's actually... Okay, we're going to have that fixed in just a second for you guys. But we do have a Mage versus Shaman to start out here, and it is, in fact... Wow. Um, looks like it's... So it's Mech Mage versus yeah. the Midrange Shaman. Yes. Um, so Which Amaz, might kind of suffering from right. the oh, matchup. It's like it's like decks like Mech Mage that has pushed Shaman to the limits because remember the days when Zoo was problematic for yeah. Shaman unless you had Lightning Storm and even or that two? Lightning Storm right doesn't uh, doesn't even guarantee you anything. Mm. It's like that at times four from Mech Warper because if you put out two of those you gain so much tempo that it doesn't matter what you do. By the way, uh, exactly the bands that we were talking about as well. So, uh, nice call, Warlock Texas. and Paladin. Mm -hmm. You as well, Frodan. Oh, thanks. You man. called that Paladin band really quick. You snap called it. Yeah. That's In fact, I don't think you even thought about it. I think that was luck. I think that was a 25% chance how quickly you said he should ban it. Did you see the draw? 
Uh, that rock biter just saved the day. Ah, uh, yeah, he shut down the mech warper. That was really mech warp, You will be forced to use the flame tongue totem, and then you lose it to the board anyway. And now you you still have it, and you have two creatures on board. So mech mage is in an awkward position. If he uses the hero power and the attack of the f of the cogmaster to clear the board, he loses the whole turn. And basically, that's not what you what you want to do against uh, when you're playing with mech mage. Well, actually, it would fit the curve because he had the clockwork gnome. So mm, say curve again for me, Lothar. Curve. <laughs> oh, no! he nailed it. It was like the first time you said it was really oh, sexy. Oh, Frodan. Yeah. <laughs> Get See, out. See, what people Frodan. don't know is that Lothar's wife. Yes, and yes, Lothar is a married man. Sorry to all the fangirls out there, but uh, Lothar's wife is actually an English professor. Really? Yeah, yeah. she teaches. No wonder your English is so good. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know. People are making uh, fun of my accent, and is the I reason behind it's because there's literally nothing else we can make fun of you, Lothar. Do you realize uh, how you won your how group. much you won the G? You're very handsome. You're well spoken. You're a he friendly guy. He plays guitar. He actually plays of course guitar. He plays guitar. And he doesn't even put it on his, in the background of his stream. He's so humble. He about doesn't it. lean a guitar <laughs> against the wall in the background of his stream. I don't no, know what to answer. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't you do that if you own a guitar? Mm, what's even the point? <laughs> Well, I want to make to make the point that I'm a jo I was a German speaker like for a few few years. And, and that's he's the multilingual. Accent. No, that that's the accent I have. Well, looking at this, uh, I well, it sucks. Yeah, the yeah. identity is so problematic. Oh, Although... what for for Gara? I think this is fine. I think that you look at this and you know that that is a mirror entity. Yeah, but now and you so you just you're gonna kill the thing and you're gonna have like this giant pilot shredder. If you kill the other Palted Shredder. Right. Yeah. But the kill it with your face. Wouldn't you think about just playing the Flame Tongue and killing the Flame Tongue with your Paw Mace? Right. You don't need a really big yeah, one I creature guess you against don't need the, the Mech Mage. I'm, see, I'm a yeah. very greedy guy. And when I see that Death row, I'm like, I better have a Mech out for that. Yeah. But no, that, you're right. That's uh, definitely better. The challenge is also the fact that he wants to kill his Flame Tongue because of, like, obvious implications. It's a 4-3 minion. But mm. that uh, that Cogmaster can get buffed up easily and just kill out his Flame Tongue That's as well. true. That's also true, yeah. yeah. Well, not this time, guys. <laughs> wow. Uh, I mean, he does have the reversing switch, but he's got to play Lothab, right? It's true. You would think. You want to I mean, take the initi board initiative as soon as you can against a class like Shaman. Yeah, but if you're playing Lothab, you probably have to sack the, the Cogmaster into the Totem, which doesn't feel good, right? Right. So, but so you could use like your ping and reversing switch. Like that's, I think it's reasonable to do something like that. Yeah, the problem is like, shaman is a class that benefits. Like one of the class that benefits the most off tempo. That's why cards like hex and lightning storm can be really powerful. It allows you to squeeze in so much uh, mana efficient plays. And so if you don't answer it with like a big strong board play for tempo yourself, yeah. you're missing out. So if you flow two mana, and your opponent takes advantage of playing Azure Drake when you left the board clear. You're not going to climb back because you're going to be fireballing uh, defensively as opposed to for the win. True. Uh, uh, I do have a quick question, actually, for you, Frodan. What's a better team name? Is it Tempo Storm or Archon? <laughs> I have quick, no idea. Quick, first answer. I'm not that fast on my feet, Lothar. Lothar, which one is it? I can say that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and say Archon is a better team name. But you're, bi you're biased. Why would I be biased? Because you play StarCraft. Oh. Well, we have Tempo in StarCraft, too. And we have Storm. That's, like, oh, one of the right. most powerful abilities. What's Tempo in StarCraft? But it's the same thing Tempo is anywhere. Oh, I thought it's, like, a unit. unit oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's a, it's a Actually, Artosis, thing that you get. Artosis used to talk about Tempo all the time. Yeah, it's, like, StarCraft <laughs> with Marine King. Yeah, yeah, yeah he would play a bunch of his Marines. Tempo plays you got the unit, Ar Arkham, right? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, the... Uh, I stand by it. I stand by what I said. You know what? We can we can determine that through the outcome of this match. If uh, if Gara wins, Temple Storm is a better name. What yeah, about you know? Actually, I'm, I'm sure Amaz would be really approving of that. Too. Uh, uh, he's able to. How many players are from Arkana are participating in Tech TV? Like five? Four? I think. I think it's four. Eight. Twelve. No. <laughs> what? Twelve? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we All have right. Amaz, Sixo, Zelay. Doctor Bum. And. Wells? This guy's not a bum. Orange, right? So it's full. Orange, Zelay, 6 0, Amaz, and Raynet. Well, now we're talking uh, about Archon, Archon players. Oh, uh, Well, oh, Raynet oh, yeah, yeah. jo joined Archon. <laughs> That's crazy. That's his he, team, he created man. Archon, Artosis. <laughs> and from Temple Storm, we have 
hyped Gara. We have hyped Gara. And yeah, that's it. We have hyped <laughs> Gara and two casters. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh god. Oh man. That's unfortunate that the big game hunter is waiting there in, in the hand. But still, one fireball more, wow. and this will be taken by Amaz anyway. Big game hunter and mm. two hexes. It's like <laughs> he's not even really acknowledging the aggro as much. You know, the Mech Shaman already struggles a little bit <laughs> against that aggro, let alone being able to win uh, against the mid range tempo sometimes. And he still has big game hunter, so. Gara brought a really greedy deck, in my yeah. opinion. But yeah. it's working out okay if he's able to answer this. Uh, the only problem is he's worried about getting burned out of the game because of boom bust, yeah. yeah. damage, and fireballs. Uh, can and frostbolts. Like, frostbolt and, uh, frostbolt and the fireball might be end of the game. Yeah, it definitely could be. Uh, I th he's got to draw his vitality totems, guys. Mirror entity. Oh, man. <laughs> You know, you, you joke, but Vitality Totem saved Vitality my butt Totem. a few times. More than Lightwell. Because <laughs> <Yeah>. Lightwell's... <Yeah. laughs> of course it saved more than Lightwell. Oh, Ooh. wow. That's a hit right there. We'll just drop the Goblin Blast Mage now. Oh. Unless he had one, so... So you ping the... One of the creatures, right? Right. No, no I, I like... Oh yeah, no. This is better. This is better. You'd rather get the mirror entity than use that ping. And bluff counter spell for the hex. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Spellbender, man. Ooh, man. Uh, zombie that's a great response to mirror entity because it gives him so much time. That's just sweet. And you killed the zombie chow instantly, right? <laughs> I would say so. Yeah. You gained uh, two life. Three. Three life. You're right. Yeah. Math sword. So that's uh. <laughs> Uh, I was thinking about not using face because we would be at 19. Yeah, but this represents lethal. It would be lethal anyway, right? Well, assuming your opponent doesn't just simply clear zombie chow and like fireball something, but mm. uh, that's that's also the losing play from mage because mage has to think about how it scales into the late stage of the game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It doesn't have Antonitis, and he already played Doctor Boom, so it's it's definitely a losing proposition and looking good mm. for the. For the Tempo Storm <laughs> versus Archon name debate, Artosis, I like it. We can keep <laughs> count in the Artosis book. How do you say that? Notebook? Notebook, right? Yeah. Yeah. Notebook, that's right. Your wife would be very proud, Luthor. Oh, thank <laughs> you. She is. Shots fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shots Actually, fired, you know Artosis. My, my wife is an English teacher, too. So you, so you have the same That's problem. That's weird, but I spoke English already. <laughs> really subtle <laughs> really subtle brags about your masculinity. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I even have a baby. Oh, no. Whoa. Now yeah. you just... Now, who's the real man me? here? Okay. <laughs> Still Lothar. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> just look at those muscles. The masters, man. I can I can have a master. Do you do you have? A oh, I can't. I can't grow. Actually, that's the truth. If you want to show the test of manliest, Lothar can grow full on facial hair. Me and Artosa still look like we're seventeen year old guys. And we always will, Frodan. We always, always will. And I don't know why. That's don't also me. All right, a little bit scary here. Let's take a look. It's a lot of mech and death battle staying power, and he doesn't have the lethal. The boom bot still can have high impact, though. Yeah. They definitely could. It's a little bit of a gamble. Totems right away. Well, I guess he was looking oh, for a taunt totem. It's man. shiny. Was uh, Gara bolting? <laughs> he's boom he's body. Best <laughs> oh. Boom body. Wow. There wow. it is. There it is. I'm done. That was my one joke of the day. Can I change the language of the client in game? Nope. Right during the game? In the <laughs> no, and you definitely you can't. No, you. I don't. That's I think you have to start restart the client overall. Yeah. When you play on the iPad, you can actually change it in, during the game. Really? Yeah. You just go to no the way. options. Yeah. Oh, iPad is just. I have scary. my iPad like ten feet away. I'm gonna go check. Uh, so he's gonna tr start training down the board. Whoa! Explosive sheep. That's that's the one of the, the thing ten drops you can have from the. Yeah, yeah. Server, we right? actually counted it yeah. yesterday, Frodan. There's actually like seven common drops, and that's one of them. Oh. And then there's three other drops that happen sometimes. Did you guys put the fire's ringleader in there? Because I always. Get oh wow, him. four points of damage. <laughs> wow, that's that's a pretty considerable amount. And Lothab won't stop a fireball wow. from killing him, no, but no. it'll be another opportunity to present lethal. Let's see it. Goblin That's Blast not a Mage. Fireball. That's interesting, though. But hey, he has actually enough mana to play Rusty Horn as well. Yeah. Do you play Rusty Horn? 
kind of sucks, right? Well, I think you have to play Rusty Horn, don't oh, you? Oh, wait, it's for six. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You play both. Yeah. Hey. Here we go. No. Well, that's that's awful. As as We're not be. Call of Duty. Huh? We're not Call of Duty? Yeah, that's a, that's a saying. Because it's like, you know, they just spray and break. That's what, what you do in Call of Duty? I haven't heard that one. That's what I do in Call of Duty. <laughs> and, and Counter Strike, if you know Lothar. Yesterday we were playing, we got <laughs> stomped like it. four games in a row. And I'm a legendary. And Lothar eagle. is really good. He's like global yeah. elite status. No, 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 no. I'm a legendary eagle. Yeah, I so thought the other dude was global elite from the take. Yeah, yeah. We had two guys who were like the equivalent of high, high legend. And we just kept getting uh, stomped, stomped by Team over 05 over. high, high legends. Yeah. Wow. That's because, Rain, it's because Rayna kept buying yeah. shotguns. Yeah. Is that why? <laughs> yeah. I'm actually a shotgun buyer too in that game. I'm, oh, I'm, no. I'm quite bad at it, but I really like it. <laughs> it's a fantastic game. Can you get away with uh, hitting face? No. Or do you have to trade? I. Uh, well, I, I think you have to attack face here because you have no cards in hand. You just got to, like, kind of hope. Yeah, it's still a good play. Oh, but that's, it's that's so not. easy for him to kill him here. Is it lethal? No. Is no, it? It's, it's so nine. close. Wait, wait, it's lethal. Oh, yeah, he yeah, does. use the fire yeah. elemental and puts it in between the... We are so, so smart. Wow, yeah, Thank you're right. You. That is lethal. Okay. Wow, so Gara going to be able to take game one here with the... <laughs> does he see Did they just show the dollar Illuminati sign? <laughs> These guys. He doesn't see the lethal? No, he, he does. He does. Right? He doesn't. Gara. He needs the tot, too, right? What? Dude, you could leave him. No, no, he, he sees it. Oh, okay, he sees now it. he sees it. Okay. What? Okay, what? yeah. yeah. No, that's the same thing. Okay, never mind. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> All right. There you have it. He went, for max, he went for maximum damage. He's really trying to BM a Moz with every fight. Maybe he got the beam. quest with deal 100 damage. It's the uh, the Austrian ruthlessness. Or no, he's Bosnian. Excuse me. It's the Bosnian ruthlessness. Kara is? Yeah. I thought he was German. He speaks German. Does he live in Germany? Yes. Oh, okay. Artis, are you saying all Germans look the same? <laughs> you caught me, Frodan. That's exactly what I was saying. <laughs> I was implying that with every fiber of my being. <laughs> uh, well, Lothar, you're actually changing the language. Yeah, I was said to. Oh, you were told to. Oh, yeah. Lothar, if everyone Lothar doesn't know what the card is. Lothar, if everyone told you to bring priests to a tournament, would you? Nope. Well, that's, why, that's, that's why. That's why you would. That's the joke. Dot JPEG. Yeah. Uh, that's that's exactly why you advance from group Lothar. Touche, sir. Look at that Seed Story Cup trophy, by the way. It's a beautiful one. It's awesome. It's not actually that color. It's due to the light. It's a little bit more of a clear clay. But I mean, now you can uh, now it's highlight turquoise. it with any color you want. Yeah. Okay. We got to even put it. Uh, you can even put dragons on that. I can't wait until uh, you know. Tice comes back and wins this tournament. We can ask him what color he's going to illuminate it with in his house. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm uh, I'm definitely waiting to see <clears throat> what uh, what's going to be happening here. Mech Mage is down, so that leaves Druid. Uh, oh, sorry, the Druid Mage and Warrior are available, but Gara now has Priest and Druid. Yeah, you have to write uh, Tempo Storm, Arcan <laughs> one zero. All right. That's right. I'll take care of that after. What was really funny was yesterday, like, uh, Faramir was like, hey, Reyna, what happened? Tempo Storm one for th or he was going to say zero for three because Hype looked like he was down 2-1. Yeah. And then Archon would have had uh, two players advancing with Zolay and uh, six So So he's like, mm -hmm. yeah, what happened? And uh, Reyna, of course. Hi, RDU. <laughs> Reyna, of course, had, definitely had some salt uh, pouring out of it. I hope, I, I hope Reyna gets to cast today because. Oh, well, I'm sure he will. Yeah, the the yeah. PJ salt is plentiful. He just this he morning. just got here, so he should uh, come over a little bit later. I love these. Guys. Where's a Maz? Oh, there's a Maz. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, here we go. Innervate, Wrath, and Sylvanas. Uh, you know he's gonna need a lot of help to destroy this mech mage yeah. druid. This was a but good move. Innervate's a it's a good start. Now mech warper is also an excellent start here. You think so? Maybe you got second one. Into oh, I know. Area. Yeah, I, yesterday I got mech warped plenty of times. Those are mm -hmm. well, plenty of times. You know, I, 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 oh, wow, that's a good draw. Yeah. Really good draw. Is a, is a frost bolt that important against Druid, or is it just because it answers like pilot shredder? It's and just stuff? because of the tempo you can gain. I can fix anything. So, uh, can you fix my play, Cog? Actually, I, I want to. 
Actually, well, no, we already talked about Toshley a lot yesterday. I was going to bring it up again, but I'm like, no. We Toshley is a it. sick card, by the way. I it's like, like it just answers everything in the mid game. Is there anything Toshley can't deal with efficiently? Except, I guess maybe the, Drew the Claw? Ragnaros? Deathlord? Well, you know, that's... <laughs> Death like, yeah, there's a Deathwing actually just wrecks him. Just straight <laughs> wrecks him, Frodan. Stop being me and Lothar. He said Death Lord. <laughs> Not Deathwing. But yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, yeah, no, the fact is, it trades so well into the Emperor. It trades so yeah, well into yeah. every five oh. health minion. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it really does. I was thinking about innovating a creature to clear off the Annoyed from, but you can't do that. Because you have you have no creature for for a yeah. yeah, you can so still clear it sucks. out. You just what? use your hero power. Mm, yep. Yeah, but next turn you will most likely drop the emperor, right? Right. Or I would say so. Uh, Toshley Toshi seems to be, be better for. But if you no, because if you drop the emperor, then you can play Toshley on the next turn. Oh, I mean, yeah, if he yeah, draws a right. five drop, you oh, can you're do right, Toshley. You're right. You're right. That's that's way and better. And swipe becomes three mana. It's called playing on curve, fellas. <laughs> Read about it. I will at tempestorm.com. <laughs> Wow! One step ahead of the meta. Oh. Yeah. Black Knight. Dan, I miss you so much. Oh, I miss you too, Friday. I'm so happy to finally be back at a Hearthstone <laughs> tournament. I love Hearthstone players, man. Yeah. What a nice scene. So it's, it's nice to be able to converse with people in your native language, right? For players. Yeah. yeah. You, how good is your Korean now? Uh, it's pretty mediocre. I've traveled too much in the past few years. It's actually gotten worse in the past two years. Oh, well, that's too bad. So it's the same as my English. Oh, it's worse yeah. than your English. Oh. oh yeah. Your oh. English is fantastic, actually. Oh, as much guys. as people joke. Yeah, oh. actually, Lothar's English yeah. is pretty good. Oh. Pretty good. If oh. only, if oh. only your Counter Strike oh. skills were as good as your English. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. That is enough. Okay. Um, no, we're, we're keeping up. Uh, you know, the the amount of expressions per Namaz cast. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> wild growth. That's a card. Uh, you know, the Lothar actually just flailed his arms. No one saw. The fact is, he still has that really good play with the Emperor, like you said. Yeah. yeah. And the wild group so for good. one mana? That is just so efficient. Oh, man. That's just cray. cray. Swipe for three mana is actually nothing to scoff <laughs> at, man. Dude, anything... Like, the thing is, the mana costs in this game are very, very well done. So as soon as anything costs one less mana, it's actually ridiculously broken. Mm -hmm. He Just got think like, of the card, a, like one and a half innovator. Like that. Leroy for four mana? Yes. Oh, yeah, and it's Shadow Step, and it's still for five. Unleash the Hounds for two mana? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, God. I would still like to see the old Unleash the Hounds. Well, not now with the new, yeah. like together, but try the old. Yeah, old bring style. back Buzzard at two mana. You That's remember what the first, first Unleash the Hounds, right? Wow. Your beasts have two plus attack that, and charge. Yeah. That was yeah. perfect. Did you see that? That no, Blast no, no, Mage got the, em the memo. He was supposed to shoot the Emperor once yeah, I mean, and then hit three to the phase, and that's exactly what he did. You know, when... It, I got oh, to look, wonder... Oh, look, there's enough Is... Yeah, he's a great card. I thought we banned that card. Well, is, is Amaz, like, actually playing around the possibility that that stupid battle cry dude comes out... Was that what that was? What battle cry, what dude? Battle cry dude? The guy that makes you battle mean? cry minions cost more. Oh, what, Nerubi, 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 Nerubi Wedlord? Wedlord? Yeah, because yeah. he pops out rather often from Pilot For you, yeah. I get Mana Wraith a little bit more often to complicate well, things. Yeah, he played Wraith around Mana Wraith, right? Oh, okay, yeah, I guess right. he was playing around one of those. Oh, he ones. drew one. I catch one. Wow, that's a really big deal. Yeah, it is. Oh, and Defiable. Yeah, no, he wouldn't have Defiable without the Net Pagel. Right. Uh, yeah, Fireball's Fireball still Fireball a little complicated. Anything? What to do? Not this time. What it burns do. the face. Yeah, I just stated the other thing. You see, you see that little action figure, that stick figure that's uh, in the middle of the fireball? Yeah. That's Gara. In that's Gara right yeah, there? Oh, turns. God. Yeah. Fireball has killed quite a few shamans in its day. <laughs> so now you drop yeah. the Mad Scientist, Cockmaster, and Frostbolt. The yeah. Mm. yeah, totally. That's that's what, how you buy a temple. <laughs> did you see what? Did you hear my pun? Oh, sorry. Well, well, say it again. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Say it again, Lothar. That's how you buy Tempo. Oh, oh my god. Amaz oh. buys Tempo Storm confirmed. I mean, Make he, the he red probably could. But he didn't <laughs> go for it. I'm, I'm really wondering why. Right? Um, oh, the freeze? Yeah. yeah like, just... the Cogmaster is, is really great against Druid because it has so much value right. with yeah. trading, right? Yeah. Wow. Wow. 100%. That pagel. That's a good pagel right there. 
That's a buzz hunter. That's a 100% pagel. That's an artosis pagel. Whoa. And it's not a golden one. I know. Well, uh, you know, I should. I guess we should probably. Pickles just evaluate. happy to have his time on on air right now. No one plays with this guy anymore. It's true. This is so problematic. We're reversing switch now. We can kill the pagel with one mana. It's true. It's actually very true. You're right. Yeah, he may actually want to do that too. <laughs> you don't want to get the pagel. Uh, let's see. Swipe. Oh wow. That's two, two swipes. Two swipes. Wow. Swipe oh, wow. Start. That's pretty sick. You do it, right? Uh, I would yeah. assume that you'd want to, because you're at 16, you need to stabilize the board. Sylvanas actually still has full health after that, too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, swipe doesn't hit Sylvanas. <laughs> um, the question <laughs> Did you test that out? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you have. You looked at me serious. Yeah, no, I wanted uh, to let you know, because I've really done my <laughs> homework now on what, you, what does what damage and kills what. You should release a YouTube series. It's like, you know, interplaying with Sylvanas and just keep trying to do every single spell with it. <laughs> That's why I play Crush in my Warrior deck now. For your Sylvanas? Yeah. Sick. It's full seven mana. Get rid of her. So you first and a single use the tear Taskmaster? rolled down Artosis' <laughs> cheek. Huh? You first use Taskmaster on her to, to the Crush the people. No, he you first know, used Inner Rage, bro. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. That's Inner That's Rage Crush. Yeah. It's only seven. <laughs> yeah, then it's only three mana. Yeah. No. It's pretty sick. And if you can't, you could have big game hundred it. <laughs> Double swipe is uh, very good. And I, I guess you go face. I, guess I think. you Pagel isn't going to draw any energy two times. You're yeah, you go sure? face. I feel like the last thing. Thing is, if you do that, then no so way. It just gets fireballed anyway. It's like, right? Yeah. Oh draws. yeah. It's also another target that if uh, you trade into something, it could steal. Because yeah. if the pilot's guy golem came down here, for example, Savas can't steal anything normally if the yeah. pagel wasn't on board. True. That's and a one hundred percent pagel. That is a oh, that is true. a three card draw pagel. Look at the difference here. Like literally, he would have just, just had, had fireball or something. Right? Like, he would be drawing fireball. Yeah. Or sorry, he'd be well, drawing. I guess he got that earlier. No, no, he'd be drawing drawing the pilot's sky golem. Yeah. But still, it's it's such a big difference. He'd have three less cards in hand. Are you kidding me? That pi the pilot Sky Golem. I mean, a pilot Shredder is so crazy. When he gives you something like that. Pretty nuts. God. You know what's even crazier? The pilot Sky Golem, which drops the pilot Shredder. Which drops the Nat Pagel. Which drops which the Nat drops the which, fish. Which draws you a pilot yeah. Shredder. Yeah. It's a never-ending loop until you die of fatigue. We need we need to make a time travel movie about that. <laughs> God, not the greatest things for him to no. steal into. Harrison Jones, well, that's not great. You still have to remember that there's a trap, the mirror entity up. Oh, you're right. So you oh, have to get yeah. to that bagel. So actually, playing Harrison Jones and then attacking into Harrison Jones might be like a very risky play. No, oh, no, 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 no he's got this. it perfect. Yeah, yeah, he can steal the golem. Yeah, that's <gasps> that's perfect. Oh, that is sick. <laughs> wait, wait. Craigasm. <laughs> Serious. That's that's really that's well done. Such a good turn, really like, uh, well done. Really Holy smart. Crap. Yeah. Wow. That's an, uh, an he's a, arch I mean, play. He thought a bit really quickly too. This is really impressive. He has a lot of experience with this. Hagar has been grinding a lot yeah. recently, like even more so. He stayed up till 7 a.m. practicing every day. Really? Even at this uh, event, he came in. He actually kept up for soon, and. <laughs> I know because Forsen was complaining about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Forsen's already out. He can be kept up. <sighs> Dang, he's not even here to hear your burn. Yeah. Is he sleeping in? Uh, that's so bad. Yeah, that was... What a crazy play there by Gara. Like, And that's um, that's two mirror entities, right? So this mad scientist yeah, yeah, will that's, go that's all. fishing for nothing. He Hell wants to be Nack Pagel. Wow. If only he could kill his own golem. I mean... He so you know just work. wild growth, right? That's right. Wild growth on nine mana. <laughs> that's the best play. Oh look, that's a oh it. Wait, there is another what? secret. So oh, it's, it's just a counter spell. Here. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. It's that's a secret. Square. Oh okay. Oh no, that was the previous game where yeah, he dropped right, the right, 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 right. You're like, it, wait, he isn't shaman? What's going on? He picked the wrong class. Hmm. I like how he can do seven right now to the Kel'Thuzad. Oh, man. Yeah, this is his best chance to survive. Yeah. He just has to go for it. 
but of course, uh, it's this it's is still it's right still right risky because he's going to be one point off either way or two points off his opponent hero powers. Oh wow, that's that's a great well, fireball. Destroyed. Well, he still has to draw into something that he can play. Ideally, yeah. he like to have zombie chow. Nourish too. Wow. Oops. That's a lot of cycle. What happened with the excess mana here? Uh, it looks like it's just some bug. So he's gonna try to gain life. See what this uh, sky golem spawns. Maybe a taunt. Ooh. Oh, that's that's great. That's like a one-eyed cheat with all its stuff. <laughs> and he has no pirates. Yeah, in there you go. Now it's a big game hunter. <laughs> oh, oh, sick. We're moving up in life. Oh, that's gonna do it though. The oh, two wow. fireball. No the fireball. If you look really closely, there's a Bosnian flag also on the stick figure. <laughs> Boom. That's gonna do it. The series is tied, and uh, you know the mech mage. Well, it was it kind of favored, but without the net pagel, he would have yeah. lost the game. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, like right. Gara made some really powerful plays there because mech mage is supposed to be druid. So I mean, Gara also drew both of his innervates to get some early game tempo. Yeah. So yeah. that's also like one of those things where you could look at that and be like, ah. Did he draw the Harris in the turn he did that move too? Uh, or was that yeah, I think okay, so. So that's, so. that's a pretty good topic like, as well. In general, Gara was drawing much better than what a Maz was as at the very beginning stages of the game. But yeah. I felt like in the end, the RNG evened out. Well, I don't know. Three Pagel draws in a row, though? That's like... That's like 100%. That's crazy, man. Fair enough. I don't, I don't know the exact odds of drawing both. I just I remember the old days if when Pagel would draw more than your opponent, you win every time. Yeah, like, true. <laughs> it was it's just, just so you silly. Could, you so could so put ESGN days. We yeah. have a... Cup here. Yeah, let's advertise that company right there. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is like a, a Frodan meme right now. It's like I worked, I moved across the world and worked for ESGN for a year, and all I got was this lousy <laughs> coffee mug. <laughs> it is. I actually keep it here too. I don't actually take it with me. Yeah, I wouldn't. Take People it think like you either. travel with this Frodan. No, I actually left. I it could here. see you you're in the middle of the night. You just look at, oh, you just throw it into the wall. <laughs> And then no, I'd like go over and try to rebuild the cup and like put it piece by piece. <laughs> like I didn't mean it. <laughs> Take the it cup back. is broken, just like the company it came from. Oh, just like the dreams that came along with it. <laughs> no, oh, it's not happening. Just like the Those strategy words. of Gara. Yes, because it got broken by that mech mage. Druid versus Druid. Let's go. This one is a little bit slower from Gara. Can he outpace Amaz's Druid, who looks to be slightly faster? He does have Scenarius, so... Oh, he's got Scenarius and Lotheb. Okay. All right, so uh, we've been seeing some players go for, like, the pretty heavy Druids uh, that go for a lot of Cycles and Emperors. I think you got to reset that one. Reset? Like, yeah. leave in the bottom right, maybe. Okay, it's bugged. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, go ahead, Frodan. Um... Yeah, I was just saying that it's really interesting to see now druids are starting to deviate in their builds a little bit, and it does impact the mirror significantly. Um, some druids go to build around Emperor, because if you don't have good card cycle like Nourish, then Emperor becomes a lot weaker, especially if you have to innervate and you only have like two cards in your hand or three yeah. cards. Versus some uh, druids legitimately are just faster now, because they still value um, like just being able to get something on the board and go for the combos. And so now I, I'm really curious oh. to see oh, wow. like how this ends up paying what? off. Double oh, Doomsayer. Wait, wait, wait. What? One mana Doomsayer. I was, like, I was listening to you and I wasn't looking yeah, at Yeah, yeah, I wasn't but either. But now I see that he has... Uh, now I see your faces too. I'm like... <laughs> that is so cool, man. Is, is this his answer to Mech Mage? Uh, like, or just ways to scale back the greediness from yeah. Doomsayer? Now he can drop... He can coin, lore. coin wow. Ancient of Lore? That is so that's sick. That's awesome. so awesome. You know what is awesome that's about incredible. Doomsayer 2? If your opponent wants to keep her those, you still have a target for Savage Roars. Yeah. Unless he doesn't play those at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a very good point. Right. Uh, but I think with those amounts of cards that you have in your deck, with like double Dude, Doomsayers, Onyxia, look at that, you might not be playing Savage Roars, right? Look at this game right now. Just and look at Ancient this. Of it's, Wars. Like, Dude, it's like the trademark. Look at both of their hands, he's, too. He's like, there's bringing back the Ram, Ancient of Lore. The Ram yeah. Druid. He's bringing back the Ram Druid, but he brought some fire with him. Yeah. <laughs> he brought the, the Doomsayer Ram Druid. <laughs> it's my favorite version. I will um, actually... Here's the thing. I do not like to play Druid decks. I like avoid them very regularly, but I like Gara uh, Druid decks. When he makes something like new and freaky, I like to play it, and I will definitely try this one. 
Wouldn't be the Harrison Jones better here? Uh, well, generally speaking, Harrison Jones, the earlier it can get out, the better, but I guess he just wanted the card draw a little bit more. Well, you have turn seven play already. Right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess it's also because his opponent, um, like, would have oh, wow. to swipe to deal with this efficiently. He's using the force of nature. Like, what yeah. else, what else well, can he, he do? Well, he didn't have anything else anyway. Yeah. 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 What else yeah. can Amaz do? Amaz is just, like, victim of his opponent getting the, uh, the Emperor first. You know, in a way, because Agara got the Emperor and Innervate, he's just like six or seven mana ahead of his opponent right now. You mean the Emperor Cobra, right? Yes. <laughs> That's what he means. <laughs> that card's undervalued and underappreciated. Every time that comes off a web hey, spinner. He actually played that at DreamHack. You played in Summer. the Handlock and used Shadow Flame. He played the Gara played that in his Wait, what? Ramp Druid. Remember that? <laughs> he played one Emperor Cobra. It's actually pretty sick. Ah! Oh wait! I yeah, think so you're he right. doesn't undervalue it. Yeah. That's why he's ahead of the meta. Man, Amaz just getting shut down. He played Doctor Boom, but his opponent has the perfect answers. I can't help but feel bad for Amaz here. It's just like he's just getting absolutely. Gar uh, just looks like a genius right now. Well, that's the uh, that's the victim of his type of deck building. Sometimes he looks completely like a like a fool, and sometimes yeah. he looks like a complete genius. And in tournaments, you can definitely get away with oh it a little bit God. more. Do you know what's about to happen? Like, Amaz is going to do Kelthazad. something, and then Kel'Thuzad will come out, and the game is over. And yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah because you know, Garo will sacrifice it. both the Drake and the Beacon Hunter to kill the Ancient of Lore. Wow. And drop the Doomsayer with it. Oh, man. Yes. How does it Actually, work? how does that, that sequence? So yeah, if, exactly if, what uh, I wanted to ask. Uh, I don't know. Actually, because it's the beginning of the turn... Wait, wait, wait. I no, think it would kill Kel'Thuzad. Yeah, kill KT, yeah. But Stop trying to confuse I thought, me, man. I thought you guys were joking for a minute there. Uh, <laughs> like, I want to go along with this joke. What are we... This, this game... No, the this golden. game is a joke. Wow. Yeah. Did you see that? Kel'Thuzad transformed the non-golden cards into golden ones. Pure oh, that's value. awesome. Pay to win confirmed. Dude, this is crazy. What to do? Oh, it has like that a... That is like straight up power pew, creep. Pew. pew. I feel like I'm watching the X-Men versus Green Lantern right now. <laughs> That's it's what this Green feels Lantern. like to me. <laughs> no, versus Aquaman, huh? dude. Aquaman Green Lantern's pretty uh, bad, too. Right? I think they <laughs> Green Lantern's pretty bad. I mean, yeah. they're both pretty awful, so. But, like, this is just crazy. By wow. Look at his. It doesn't even matter, the science. Who cares? Whatever. You got the 6-8 creature. Boulder Fist With over. a crown. Gara right now is just, like, thinking about the next series. Well, this is this is still one one, right? So yeah, yeah I, I guess the next game, the next. In which case, he has to win with priest. Man, that, we forgot the spell powers on the field. So that swipe oh, and wrath are so clean. Look at his hand too. Like he put out Toshi now. Yep. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> it's so crazy. Moz needs two mind control techs to climb back in this game. Seriously, you're right about that. Oh, just one, I guess. Oh well, now he can't. Gara played around double mind yep. control tech. Ooh. Well, this is why the old adage where people used to say that the slower druid won, because if um, if you play reasonable amount, the, the you just can't overcome a board this big. Yeah. But usually one of the ways you could capitalize was to get early tempo with Shea of Next Ramus and then combo your opponent out. But Amaz just got completely pushed out of the game. There's moments where I think was like the fact that he drew Innervate so late, the fact that he drew Wild Growth on like nine mana just kind of symbolizes the entire game there. Just he, was, he was just really far behind in mana. The Emperor kind of changed the whole game because, you know, no scope. 360, <laughs> no scope, 420, blaze it. Wow. His memes per minute are out of control. That's... <laughs> Amaz, zero MPM. Emperor meme Zan over there, man. <laughs> All his memes cost one mana less at the end of that game. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, uh, all right. So you should be designing the April Fools' jokes for Blizzard. Who me? And fix the animal companion. Oh, I think they did a great job at this at this April Fools. Yeah, because they're, they're like they fix the bug up. that well, said that it's like they said fix the bug which animal companion didn't summon Huffer. I was like, oh, ten out of ten. Oh, well, the one for StarCraft was even better. Back at, at BlizzCon, they, they uh, showed this unit for Legacy of the Void called uh, Cyclone. <laughs> and we were like, oh, yeah, you're, this isn't Here making it. Here it comes. This isn't making it. And 
Uh, they released the beta like on April 1st, basically. Uh -huh. It was like late at night, and Cyclone was still in the game and still wow. just as powerful. It was so funny, Frodo. And they're like, they're <laughs> drawing it out too. It's right still now. there. It's still oh. there. It's shocking. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so I think Amaz got redeemed by every single thing that happened in the previous game. Right you, have, now. you have a few options now. You can innovate the Shade of Nexoramas. You can just play Druid of the Claw too. Or you can play Coin Wild Grove. Right. I think um I think he just wants to value the curve a little bit better because he has the opportunity. Did this just happen? Oh, oh misplay! Wait. Did that oh, just Gara. happen, Gara? Did you just <laughs> miss a damage? Oh my god. Become legendary. Yeah. What? I actually hey. sometimes I Well, I mean I practiced with him <laughs> a little bit, so maybe I'm starting to rub off on Gara. I smell pancakes. Yeah, they're definitely making pancakes right now. I smell it too. Do you guys smell it at home? You're cool, now I want pancakes. And before all the stoner threads. This cast is so unprofessional. The casters are high all the time. It's like, no, they're actually making pancakes, guys. Yeah, no, they're really actually making pancakes. I was thinking about innovating Droid to the Claw here. I actually like but using that. But then Valen's that. chosen, right? I think that's, uh, I like to play better there, basically. Yeah, you play around Valen's chosen. Valen's chosen would destroy the Druid of the Claw. And you lose their innervate and your coin. No, no, no. I mean, you can charge it. Charge into the free two. Oh! So you play around Valen's chosen, and you still have 4 1 creature, which is kind of a problem That's for the That's a creative play. I didn't think about that. That, that would have been pretty cool. I actually I like him though using the the wild growth because otherwise he's not gonna. Right. It's like he's well, gonna have the worst gross turn the turn after that where it's like okay, I, wild growth maybe I'm not sure. Like, what I like about the wild growth too, Dan, just to follow up your point is that he can coin through the claw that he'd be on yeah. five mana the following turn to innervate an ancient of lore or pretty much anything that comes. It's not yeah. serious. Yeah. Like even Doctor Boom might be drawn in the next two turns. Oh god, yeah, that's right. Gross. Conveniently enough, there's a. Uh, a Shadow or Death. So if Gara can pick up anything that will gain him immense tempo mm -hmm. off of the next draw or two, he'll be in a good spot. But I still think the injured Blade Master here is really powerful. Because wow. as the Priest player, you want to seize the board as soon as you can. No. Oh. So he wants to protect his card draw mechanism. Oh, wow. Double shield. Yeah, that's really good. That's pretty good, yeah. You need the Doomsday for that. I must consider. All right. So Gara wants to go for building the board a little bit more resilient, but it just plays conveniently into swipe. Yeah, it does. It's like you can't play around everything. Um, no, certainly not. It's really easy when you see both hands. Right. You can't play around like every single way Druid can answer your Northshire Cleric, but I can understand the reason why Gara wanted to do it. Northshire Cleric and drawing cards is like the way you can run away with the game right there. <laughs> so if you can protect it as best mm. as you can, then uh, there's an opportunity there. Unfortunately, now he's in an awkward spot. Yeah, he is. Because any now, if he plays the Injured Blade Master, his opponent has Wrath. He can wow. develop another shade. And you're, you're in trouble. That's really risky. Yep. But hey, his opponent just used Swipe, so he probably can't Where leverage the removal as easily. What about That's just painful. playing Keeper and killing the Injured Blade Master? Uh oh yeah, he had the coin, so he didn't have to give yeah. Intervene. Huh. If he did that, then his opponent... Uh, I don't know. It's a little bit hard to say. Because that Drew of the Claw still is problematic. It's a 4 6. Versus, like, you know, now you know, he could. He, have he could be saving uh, the silence for some other effects as well. He might be afraid of. Oh, that's a perfect draw now. Now, you have, now we can kill the Blade Master and drop a creature. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm just thinking if it makes him too vulnerable because the Drew of the Claw's at 2 health. Nah. But hmm. it's pretty strong still. You have to kill the Twilight Drake as soon as possible. The 4 5? Yeah. It's basically the Don't same. Don't we call a 4 5 a Yeti? Isn't that pretty much agreed upon? You breaking the rules here, Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Well, if that was, was a 4 saying? 9 or a 4 8, we could be calling it, you know, a Twilight. This is a good save, though. Like, not getting too greedy with the Keeper of the Grove yeah, ends this up is paying off. And Amaz is one of the, I mean, people always taught him for his priest play, but it also allows him to be good against priest because he's mm. very understanding of what he needs to, to hold on to. Very much so. But yeah, this is, you know, this is one of those cards that 
you definitely want to have that silence for. Yeah, so. and, and Sylvanas is pretty unanimous across every priest list. Because yeah, it's I yeah. have not seen a priest list without Sylvanas. Cards come and time. go. Mind control. Um, yeah. You know, sometimes people play circles or not. Some people play light of the nars or not. But Sylvanas is one of those really synonymous things that you need to keep a, yeah. a grow for. She's like powered shield or something. It's just like yep. in the deck. Yep. But, uh, it's core. Unless you're Strife Grive. I'm getting one day Strife is going to innovate Priest, too. He's innovated almost every other class at this yeah, point. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, are you Lothar are giving us the... Uh, why, do you, why do you hate Why do you hate Strife, Strife bro? bro? That's really weird. No, no, no. He's like I, such a nice guy. Did you see, see his video where he's just like a little teddy bear? I didn't say bear? anything. What are the guys saying? I don't know why you hate him, man. It's really no, weird. I, I That's all mind. I'm saying. Strife grows Ooh. Oh, Strife no. Grows life. One mana off, some coolness. I mean, he can steal the two four. It's still mm. pretty impactful to steal the two four. Yeah. The only thing is, um, it's just stealing that shredder, which just right. feels so good. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing is that the pelcher is really good here too because yeah, it challenges yeah. everything. I like it, and it saves that combo yeah. so that he can steal like some ridiculous minion the next turn. Ooh, Dr. Dr. Boom! Mm. Dr. Boom Boom comes into the hand. And there ain't no party like a Dr. Boom party. Yeah, but those parties are fantastic. Yeah. If you drop Dr. Boom, I like being part of them. A lot of, there's, uh, so often though, you Dr. Boom shows up at the party, then another Dr. Boom shows up. And then, oh, right. stuff gets Two weird Booms quick, walk man. In, only there's a game right. of volleyball in that party now. <laughs> a game of volleyball. Okay. <laughs> some, some old men with guns come to the party. <laughs> Actually, sometimes <laughs> before volleyball, sometimes after volleyball. Just like a classic party. They never live. I've never seen a, a BGH actually connect to face after Dr. Boom. Mm -hmm. That doesn't happen. Did you know that Amaz has his volleyball team jacket on it? Yeah, you know, those Archon jackets actually do look kind of sporty. No, no, they also do look a little bit familiar. He has a oh, does werewolf, he play volleyball? Werewolf jacket. And I asked him, what is, what's this about? Yeah. And he said it's uh, his old volleyball team. Oh, Amaz used to play volleyball? Yeah. That's cool. I know, he's your height. Wow. What? <laughs> aren't you, aren't aren't you, you the same my height, height Lothar? <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I was playing basketball in my um, high school. As in, you know, the high school team. You really? play basketball too? Yeah, but... You Is know. there anything you can't do, Lothar? He does everything. Can you can you even beat Dr. Boom? No, when I have a big amount of I can. Hmm. Touche, sir. Well, you know, there's a very, very difficult way to deal with this Dr. Boom, considering that your opponent could have, like, a savage or force nature, but... If he's been paying attention, he can know that his opponent's been holding on to the coin the whole time. Yes, I, and I think he knows that, actually. Gara is not a player that wouldn't realize that. And <laughs> Amaz just must consider. Made, his, made his big game hunter useless. Yeah. You can't play it now. This is pretty tough. <laughs> I mean, he could. Me yeah, first, but that's right? not good volleyball play. Oh, okay. But thankfully, Gara controls the sand, so maybe he wins this volleyball <laughs> play. Look what oh, he got. Wow. That's quite nice. That's actually a really nice recombobulate. Frostwolf Grunt. It's so super funny when introducing those cards made the competitive tournament so much different from the usual things that we yeah. saw. Like, who would have thought of Mogur the Ogre being played in tournaments and Wisps Unstable and whole Goblins? Plus, that's the whole point. Like, uns Whoa. Whoa. Nice shot. Good shot. Yeah, that was a good spike, Amaz. Yeah, man, that's... That's one point for Amaz's team. Or is it 15? No, that's, that's tennis. That's tennis. Yeah. I don't know sports. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah. You know esports. Yeah, that's it. We don't play sports ball here. <laughs> sports ball? <laughs> Get your sports ball out of here, little <laughs> <car>. <laughs> uh, You know, I guess this boom bot has such a wide range of stuff. Would you want to even try it or you just kind of do damage with Drew of the Claw and let your opponent oh, no handle what you have to threaten with. Because if you you possibly could get lethal here. Yeah. It's possible. Yeah. Just have to hit the face and 50% of chance to win the game. 50-50. Cool. Where shall I strike? No, it doesn't need to though. It's, it's not like a really tight position. Yeah, it's not like he's about to lose this Someone game. was arguing with me that Priest is the best, I mean Druid is the best matchup for the Priest. Like three people already. And you, you think it's really good for Druid, right? Yeah. Yeah, actually, Sixa thinks it's really good for Priest. Mm, you think Frodan, really you were saying I, you were I think, think it's, it's quite good for Priest? I think it's, 
I think it's not like amazing. I think it's decent, like decent to good. I think it has to do if you get your injured blade master down, and he lives personally. That's like it's the same when you play handlock. That's why I said right. the twilight yeah. drake, right? Yeah. It, it seems it, it it has the same purpose. If you have the twilight drake up, then the druid has to use the keeper for that. But you can't use keeper on the blade master, so it's even better. <gasps> oh my wrath. Is that? How oh, that. Oh, uh, wrath. Well, I mean, he can remove. No, he can't pick up Shadow Word Death with it. Unfortunately, I thought maybe he had enough mana to cycle and then get Shadow Word Death to remove. Yeah. Uh, Doctor mm. But he's going to be um, one mana short. But he can heal, so he might live at one health. It's possible. And if you look at the hand of uh, of Amaz, it's definitely possible. I love how many matches we have going against. Man, Kyber. if. This is like... Because it's like, it's so close to everything. If that Druid the Claw had one less health, Wrath would have allowed him to push through. Well... Uh, that is no. No. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Well, he... There are so many outs from Druid right now. Swipe. Yeah. Another Keeper. Force of Nature. Force of Nature. We already used one swipe. Right, Druid so. the Claw. That's not it. What? That's not it right there. Uh, Bang. That's another problem. Yeah, that is a problem. That's like just big enough that Sludge Belcher really Although, if he gets uh, Shadow Madness. Shadow Madness is actually. <laughs> Whoa! Shadow Whoa. Madness is pretty sick. You're right yeah. about that. But he'll still most likely. That's not no Shadow game. Madness. All right, hold on. Nope. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, no, I mean, yeah, he can play Belcher. Belcher. Belcher might give him another turn. Yeah, Definitely just, a possibility. Mm, impacted. Let us see if this will. He's got to heal, obviously. Oh, he's not even going to heal. That's well. I guess that's fine, actually. He's dead either way to any direct damage. Wait, no, he dies straight from this because he oh, didn't heal because of hero right. power. What? Yeah. Oh, that was a mistake. Yeah, that's weird. That was definitely like he was gonna lose this game, like most likely. But that was definitely a mistake to play both minions. But does Amaz see it? Uh, yeah, Amaz might be like Ooh. totally mind game. Like yeah. Gara played it so convincingly <laughs> that it's maybe yeah. Amaz can't. Well, you wouldn't expect Gara to make a mistake like that. Right. Dead on board. That's an Artosis mistake, not a Gara mistake. All right, well, he sees it. Yeah, so, I, mean, uh, that, I, would, I would. That ends up the game. Uh, so now we're tied 2 2. We go to what's the final match here? It's going to be Druid from Gara. Uh, and the Warrior from Oz, right? Our Warrior Gara, from yeah. Oz. Okay. Uh, and so Priest. So warrior versus Priest. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Priest. Sorry. This is a really fun matchup. Uh, warrior versus Priest. It's, oh, right. Okay. It's a little All grindy. Right. Yeah. But it's with two players who know Priest in and out. That said, uh, I have to look at cards like Mind Control, um, which is like definitely a really big deal in this matchup. But the Thought Steals, of course, are the big key, uh, players Yeah, as what well. do your Thought Steals grab? Like, do they just what just, do you steal from your opponent? Yeah. yeah. Um, that's, um, that's, a, that's a big, big deal. Obviously, the, you know, if it gets very slow, the armor gain can be kind of a big deal. Right. You can't grind your opponent out fast enough. Yeah. Like, there should be a huge life advantage for Priest, and of course, I mean, uh, for Warrior, and of course, like, the weapons can help a lot. I don't know exactly what's in this Warrior deck. If he has something like a Gore Howl, that becomes a pain in the ass as another control deck. Unless, That's true, Gore Howl is Priest a huge... Is, uh, using Ford Steel to steal the Gore Howl. Ooh. That's what happened to me on WCA. And then you Harrison Stuff it. Stuff like that happens sometimes, yeah. man. All right, well... That's not bad. Pretty you have default slow skill, start. but you have default skill, so yeah. it's kind of okay. Yeah, both of them have a really slow start, so... You don't mind the slow start against the warrior anyway. Yeah. Right? The, the matchup, part. you can take your time. You don't have to drop things on the board just for the sake of it. Like, normally against more aggressive decks, you'd probably want to play Shrinkmeister on curves. So that way you have pressure, but... Mm, not, or board not, presence. Yeah. But, like, not, not wars, against a yeah. warrior. Yeah, exactly. Certainly not. And vice versa. Like, at least Warrior has something to do. You can armor up. May as well. <laughs> yeah. Death Spite definitely going to be more impactful in this early game. You could you could have also dropped Cleric with Shield. Ah, okay. interesting. So he's got a Brawl. The Brawl is a pretty good grab. The Shield Slam is like, great for Pyromancer. Bro. Yeah, it, it can be okay for that, but also you got to remember, like, he definitely can get armor in multiple ways. Like, with Cabo Shadow Priest yeah. and Osmith, an example. I mean, I can't tell you how many games I've mines stolen the Shield Slam and then seen an opportunity where that could be useful. So, double Cabo Shadow Priest. Wow. Now you have to drop the uh, forward shield. Yeah, just keep up the, the cycle. Just who can get to their big threats. Mm -hmm. And the game starts ramping up right around here. 
Um, turns 5 and onwards for Warrior, you can start putting out reasonable minions. You see his curve from 5 to 7 is really impactful. And, uh, of course, Priest ha does have some answers to it. But it's a little bit problematic. Would you want to draw another card here? Mm. Oh, he's a sludge I think you just use sludge yeah. Yeah. Can you move that? Can you move that flag, Lothar? I can't really what see. No. There you go. Oh, sorry. Lothar with his flags. I, I swear. That's my pole. I I got it, Lothar. You know that was pretty clever. But you're entering freak territory. <laughs> <laughs> you, I mean, pole like Polish, dude. <laughs> Wow, Frodan. <laughs> Where is your mind at? In the gutter? <laughs> no, I knew exactly what you meant. <laughs> Triple on I tell you, man. Frodan Jeez. over here. Oh. He can handle it. Oh, man. All right. Uh, yeah, just remove this as best as you can. But thing, interestingly enough, he didn't use the Taskmaster initially. He just wants to keep the health as high as he can on the Belcher. Pretty reasonable. The only thing is, like, if you use the... Um, if you use the cool Taskmaster the other way, you have less health onto your Belcher, but it challenges yeah. the uh, Northshire Cleric better. For now, this turn, uh, I mean, for me, this turn is really tough to say what to what what is the best option here without being really experienced at Priest, right? Because you have an obvious play with Cabal Shadow Priest stealing the Taskmaster. But that's kind of weak when you can also drop the Injured Blade Master, use the Circle yeah. of Healing, and also and Light cards. of Naru and heal yourself. You have too many minion. cards, though. Do you want to go to the fatigue with this match? I don't think you want to go like so fast, right? Mm, it depends. It's uh. like if you're out carding your opponent, then it actually is a really big deal. Look, I yeah, I think you want to out card him. I actually like this play over what you were saying there because of how many cards are in hand. Mm -hmm. And I think you should draw as priest. I think you don't want to go all the way against the warrior because no. overall they're going to gain more life than you during this course of the game, and they have Alex Straza, so it's like you should be unfavored in that way. They also have more burst, so. Yeah. I don't like trying to fatigue him as the priest. I think that the warrior has an edge there. So yeah. I like the drawn cards, but with this many cards in hand, he's. I, I like the way he's going. Like, yeah, let's start trading into things. Let's use this ridiculous board presence that you gain from Cabal Shadow Priest. You know what I would like really like to see next turn? Mm -hmm. um, the Belcher will die. Then you can use the Cabal Shadow Priest on the little slime and drop the Light of Naru to get the... Uh, the minion out there and use the circle of healing next turn on turn 8 to get like a massive amount of damage from that little creature. Mm. Well, Amaz, Amaz is holding on to this sludge belcher as much as he can because he knows it's problematic for now. But one thing that I don't, that I'm never sure about in this matchup is how much I should value it the later the game goes on because. Shadow Madness and Recombobulator plays yeah. with this Sludge Belcher can be such a big swing on the board. Mm -hmm. So it like you can protect can. it as much as you want, and then it, like, it becomes a 5-5 five five or better. Well, we still didn't see a single Shadow Madness from Gara, But he plays yeah. Double Strength Master oh, and Recombobulator, I have to so imagine he has, he has to, to have Yeah, it. he has to he have has it. Maybe at least one. one. Yeah. Wouldn't be super it would make for sense two, with but two. Right. Yeah. something has to be cut here as well. I haven't seen an Akanai yet. There's uh, definitely no Chows. Uh, if he plays Circle, he most certainly has to play Alcanine. But maybe no Zombie yeah. Chows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, you wouldn't go. Gr uh, you wouldn't go so anti-aggro yeah. in a group with those players, right? We so haven't you can seen Zombie Chows. We haven't seen Holy Nova yet, right? No. Uh, no. no. But I think one Holy Nova is still core because of yeah, like all the impact it has. It synergizes so well with a lot of your draws. Plus, like, do you think he has Vol'jin? A lot of people have been considered. hating on Vol'jin lately. I don't know why Vol'jin's awesome. Vol'jin is awesome, and he turns Holy Novas into good cards and control matchups. Yeah. I agree. I'm inclined to agree. As it's a tough very turn well should still. be. Sludge Belcher is like your best to soften up the board, but yeah. it's still very weak. And now uh, Warrior can really start punishing by dropping Dr. Boom. Or he drew Pilot Shredder. Now he can Pilot Shredder uh, Fiery War Axe. Yeah, I like that a yeah. lot. That's really good. Oh. Yeah, it's. I think okay. it's time to cash in on the yeah. Sludge Belcher. It's, it's yeah. Because if you play the pilot then. Shredder and you Shadow Madness it, then uh, he can just trade in the Belcher for the pilot Shredder yeah. and Shadow Madness. 
Um, I like it. You're right. That's definitely good. Then the Pilot Shredder also is scary on turn 8 because of the uh, Cabal Shadow Priest and the Shrink Meister. So Amaz is playing really well like, around the cards Certainly. and the turns from his Definitely. Opponent. But now you have double Injured Blast Master into Circle. Which is really good. That's pretty good, ball. yeah. It's good, but his opponent has 6 armor. <laughs> so it's like really easy to shield slam. But he used one shield slam already. Did he? Yeah. Oh, okay. He did it on um, Cabal Shadow Priest. Oh, you're right. No, no, yeah, no, that was execute. 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 Oh, yeah. sorry. No, then never mind. No worries. Um, but if he did, you're, it's it's a good point. He wouldn't be afraid of it. Still, you know, execute is also a problem. Yeah, he'll he'll deal with both these, but it's unfortunate that you healed the Shield Maiden to five. HP. Yeah, that is certainly. So he's got a board clear, and he can play Doctor Boom too. I just want to get Boom out there as soon as possible, personally. Well, he, well, he, he wanted to bait out yeah. the Shadow of Death with the Shield Maiden, but it didn't right. work. That's true. That's a really good point. You, he has you to feel do pretty something. bad as a priest to Shadow of Death as Shield Maiden. He has I to do something. Right. Maybe Sylvanas, because it challenges the four sevens really easily with like dying and stealing. Them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The problem so. that Amaz might have is um, is the fact that he will not anticipate the brawl from Priest. Oh yeah. Yeah, he certainly won't, but he's keeping track that neither card has been played that was stolen. So those might be like extra. They could be. Uh, I think he's Romash. afraid at this point. Yeah. Like there's plenty of times that he could have played something smaller, like a weapon or a piloted shredder. Right. So now Garo needs to draw Pyromancer. Okay. Oh, oh, holy Nova! That's okay, that's okay too. <laughs> yeah, it gives him plenty of time. Yeah, you're not gonna get a better one than that. And you know what's it's starting to get to the point is where the warrior is somewhat afraid of dropping things because it's just afraid mm -hmm, of the priest mm -hmm. having the right answers. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, is he forced to do anything? What if Amaz just, just says, you know what, I pass, and I go back to you? Yeah, because it's, it's like fatigue, now right? the priest has to present the problem, otherwise yeah. the warrior gets out of control with their draws and, and their AoE. That's the Alkanai. Oh, hmm. yeah, there it is. Well, you have to drop it right now. Yeah. And I don't think it's a super important card here, anyways. Do you use Light of Narrow already? You, I don't think it's so important to chip off those two points yeah. of armor, and the three points of damage to a minion might be yeah. crucial. Yeah, that's a good point. Good point. You don't actually need the little dude, anyways, right now. It's like mm -hmm. not not really needed. I have the option to buff it anyway. You got to use that to heal up Grill Mash when you're right. both in fatigue. That's what you got to do. No. You know what will happen? Amaz will drop the pilot shutter. And then Gara will use Cabal Shadow Priest with Shrink Master to steal it, and so will get sick. the Mistress of Pain from the Pelted Shredder and kill itself <laughs> That's with so the Okanai. Oh wow. man, that would you know what? You'd have to like shield Both slam your own happens. like uh, your own Mistress of Pain to make sure it doesn't happen. That would be so yeah. insane. But he needs armor to do that, Frodan. That's tough. I wouldn't mind if uh, Amaj dropped the armor smith to let his opponent steal it with Cabal and then play the pilot shredder afterwards. Because mm -hmm. it's very clear that he's going to let his opponent... Like, he's going to let his opponent draw cards. Oh, wow. That's really unfortunate. Would you actually draw. steal that even though you have the shield slam, though? I don't know that I would... It's really Because I have the shrink meister in hand. I only have one left. That's I true. I think I would be very hesitant. But then, you know, then you have something on the board. I guess it doesn't really matter because it's a 1-4. Armorsmith's is just so pitiful in this matchup. Yeah, it is. So big, but... So, like, in, in aggro matches, but... So big there, but so small here. I know. Kind of like me and Starcraft and me and Hearthstone. <laughs> <laughs> God... Uh, Armor Smith just gonna be sitting there then. So what's he gonna what's he gonna do? Uh, it's also getting to I a point where if he drops something, it can get mind control. So he has to be really careful with Sylvanas. Yeah, but uh, I like the drop into Armor Smith. Now you can bait out the second couple of Shadow Priest. Yep. You know what? Like, yeah, I guess he doesn't have a good way to deal with like a Sylvanas being stolen right now. But I think I wouldn't really care. Like if you're because you play a max one mind control, mm. of course. Mm -hmm. I would be much more afraid of Sylvanas getting like just shadow worded. I would actually, if the, if Garo would tell me, I will mind control your Sylvanas if you play it. I would play it 100. percent You know what I mean? Because Fair there's enough. like there, there has to be three to four minions that are better mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that can be mind controlled in a warrior yeah. deck. And now, <gasps> Garo is pushed to do it. Yeah, you know? right. He has to do well, he it. He didn't have any other play. Right? He's, I mean, he, he still he was, has. Yeah, exactly. Shield slam, like because what happens is. One thing that Priest struggles sometimes in this matchup is not having enough removal for the bombs. Mm. And so if he wasn't able to capitalize on Shield Slam at all, 
<laughs> now it's one damage. Well, now now it's one damage plus a whirlwind effect with Pyromancer. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's not bad. That's still a, a it's slightly a better card. whirlwind. Look, uh, he he got the brawl, so who cares? It's like the brawl is quite. Uh, a, it could be a nice one. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That was the Shadow Madness, but there's also no Shit. target for it yeah. for now. But now it's like really good against uh, Sylvanas, so you need to make sure to keep this combo so that way Sylvanas has a really big impact onto the board. You mm. you damage it a little bit. In fact, if you play Pyromancer mm. and then Shrinkmeister with uh, the uh, Shadow Madness, you can pretty much suicide Sylvanas guaranteed into anything. Mm. Man, this match is yeah. so exhausting for the players. Yeah, it's, 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 it's really taxing because the problem is. One, the hard part is that Priest uh, doesn't necessarily have like a win condition against uh, Warrior initially, but Warrior at the same time can't account for everything that's thought stolen, so they don't know exactly what's perfect to play around. Mm -hmm. It's very stressful on both sides. Yep. That's some first world problems right there. Yeah. Like, oh God, it's so stressful playing. <laughs> Meanwhile, like, like you know, a thousand miles away, money. people are worried about their heads getting cut off. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was not funny at all. Yeah. I'm not inviting you to my parties, Lothar. No. You and Dr. Boom are, are off the list. Sorry. Um, I will have my own party with Dr. Boom. Sure. Sounds good to I me. I will invite Dr. You Albert. can tell him all your puns, man. <laughs> uh, man, okay. So he has removal on this Cabal Shadow Priest with the weapon straight up. Dr. Um, problem. Is that... What's Dr. Do? Prob we can't. He can't solve my problems, man. Um, I think Shield Maiden is still like a vanilla enough threat. It's still a 5-5 five, five body. Yeah. Like, and I wouldn't mind him clearing yeah. and just playing the Shield Maiden. It is your second death spite, though. And you Yeah, he still has one Cruel Taskmaster. Right. And I think actually keeping specifically the Cruel Taskmaster in this matchup is a really smart and good thing to do because right. the extra two points actually can make a difference. And you right. have... if Like... I don't like it when I see people use Gromash in a control matchup like this as clear. I think you've got to try to use him to kill the Breeze. Oh wow, this is a neat play. Yeah, so he's going yeah. for a lot of like swing plays here, and he's going to use it ne right now. Uh, let's just make sure not to suicide things. Drogno, stupid! And uh, part of what makes him get away with this is the fact that his opponent already used uh, both Death Bite, so it's likely that he doesn't have as many Whirlwind effects as possible. And now everything on the board challenges. But again, he's kept most of his removal and threats. And I like that um, as soon as he drew Sylvanas, he knew he essentially has a mind control, mm -hmm. so he can yeah. go for more board pressure yeah, yeah. and start pushing to potentially start reducing his opponent's life. He has like two mind controls right now. <laughs> And one is the old style, eight mana. And he's got uh, ultimate removal with Brawl. I mean, both players have Brawl, but uh, in the end, it's like Warrior has to be the one pressuring. Although, uh, let's see, uh, both players are actually even on card draw, so fatigue might not truly matter. Who started yet. the game? Oh, no, never mind. Uh, six. Uh, I'm out, started the, ga the game. So, actually, well, Gara is two cards uh, ahead. Uh, well, what? I mean, Moss, <laughs> Moss has 12 cards remaining. Oh, sorry, I've just mixed up the both yeah. uh, monitors, sorry. Alright, the Brawl comes down. And the Shrinkmeister survives. Okay. I that's can't tell if that's... I guess that's the worst option for Gara. The Trog would have been problematic, because it's... Uh, yeah. It keeps growing with, like, shield block and stuff. Yeah, and this only has one health, so it's like, eh. Yeah. It can only be healed up to two. Second like Shadow Madness. Ah. That's Madness. Drawn a little bit late, but that's all right. It's still uh, pretty impactful considering his opponent has shad uh, Shadow Belcher. Sludge Belcher. <laughs> Shadow Belcher. <laughs> I think you might consider playing uh, the Light of Naru here. Did Gara use yeah, both make it a 3 two. Yeah. Uh, I want to say yes, but we've been seeing a couple games it's already from Priest, and it's hard to tell. If, if I'm correct, there's uh, one Fiery War Axe left as far as weapons go. And he's already cleared out a lot of the small stuff, so like, this seems like actually a pretty good play. Like, yeah. everything else is so situational. He's almost got a good enough hand to kill every threat that can yeah. come out. It's, it feels like it's almost time for Dr. Boom to come out, because you need to start having... Actually, no, he has Sludge Belcher, but then what if he opponents uh, Shadow Man is a Recombobulator? Then the board's insane. You just used your Brawl, you're losing most of your armor. Will Shield Slam even have that? He used a Recombob already, right? Did he? 
didn't he? To make um, the oh wait no that was last uh, game. that was a druid game, game. Yeah. 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 yeah he changed the two two to a frost yeah, so he definitely he knows that there's recombobulator yeah. in here um but you he already used a shadow madness as well so it's you like, can't you can't play around everything though yeah like, you, you know doctor boom challenges the two health minions with the uh, boom bots but then of course the risk is they trade easily into doctor boom <laughs> don't even have to use shadow word to death because that light horde gets healed up. Yeah. I would say that the problem is different. You can play around cards, but in a game, when you're not going to have fatigue. <gasps> is that really big? It's like, uh, I guess that's not that big of a deal. Is that you? Usually, when you see the Pyromancer, you can clear the board against Doctor Boom or Shadow Death. Hmm. I must consider. Well, you have. God, Do you there's have like to a use lot the Shadow, to consider. Shadow Death. Hmm? You don't have to. You can trade yeah. your no, guys in. You actually need no, to keep to. them as much as possible because Ragnaros, Alex Straza, and yeah. if Gromash comes down, it's like. I think the. Yeah. Um, and you Light want one Warden for your own Sylvanas, the most anyways. important card right now on the board. Right. The thing is, if he goes for the super greedy play of like, say, just like, py like a pyromancer coin or something like that, it's a risk of these boom bots killing off these minions on the board. So. The fact that the boombots are there are if still If the boombots both hit his face, he would be so happy with that. Yeah. What if you just cash in immediately, like heal yourself, and just and then take kill, out the seven seven. Take out the seven seven. Oh, he's gonna use. He's gonna go for bad, it. But okay. And he didn't heal himself first. No, it looks like the light one went down. Oh. Well, yeah. I mean, that's. That's a risk that you take. Yeah, it was definitely a risk. That I don't. I think you. Sh he should have attacked first. The extra two damage doesn't. Free. Like it does. You know, I. It felt greedy. He was like counting on the boom bots not hitting what they want to hit, and they always hit what they want to hit. Yeah. Now that he has one shadow word death less, like, and the gamble didn't pay off. No. And he has board pressure is like. Death for yeah. Sylvanas also. Well, he doesn't have to, but it will be nice. No, it's, it's a good point. I guess maybe what encouraged Gara was that the fact that he has Brawl, so it's another potential form of removal, but it's always scary because it's not guaranteed. Mm. And then now, like, well, Harrison... Well, Brawl. You know what? He has, actually, look at how Larys is. He sells a coin, and he has Brawl and Sylvanas as well. That's pretty fun. Oh, you're right! That's a No, that's move. so big. That's probably that's influencing sick. a I lot of his plays. That that's that can sick. even happen. Because... <laughs> Then so, no matter what, you win the brawl. Yeah, that yeah. combo yeah. is actually insanity. So yeah. He's going to sit on that forever. Oh, look, that's the second second shield. Yeah, Meister. good call, Gar um, good call, Lothar. Like, not having not having the second shield commander would have been a big deal, but because he does, it's really nice. Oh, boy. Uh, you know, every card has Wonder. potential to backfire, and Amaz is very outspoken about how, like, Warrior still doesn't need to do anything. But that belongs in a museum. I mean, well, he's baiting out everything yeah. like, so hard. This, yeah, well, this is where the shield slam comes into play. You definitely use this yeah. here to clear. Yeah. Oh, oh like wow. A billion percent you use Now this you have the combo that. even without the coin, man. Oh, my God. This is getting gross, guys. That's hilarious. And it's, it's really important that he did draw the Emperor right now because it's a big threat just to drop it on the board. Even right. without the it's effect, five five. it would yeah. be still be very impactful at this state of the game. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's already used so many weapons and stuff. It's like, what is, you know... He either has to proc it somehow, which we don't even know if he's playing Whirlwind, and he only has one cruel wow. task, or he, he has, has to use Shadow the Shield Slam. for free, Shrink Meister for one. Oh. That's insane. Dude, Gaara's in such good shape here. Is there a it way depends, to deal though. With I, I still oh, yeah, think Warrior's in an okay spot, just because... Well, he's got power cards, for sure. Right. The end, I think it's because I'm trying to line up all of the big threat because what happens is if Amaz can be in tune with what Gar has played so far, he realizes that maybe he has situational cards and he doesn't have to do anything more than drop them one threat at a time. So if his opponent just keeps dealing with one threat, he has to eventually like use Sylvanas Brawl or Sylvanas Shadow Word Death on like one threat and he can win with another. Like he still has Alex Straws in his deck. Yeah. And yeah. Gar only has one um only has one uh, Shadow Word Death remaining. No, no. Oh, wait, you mean the hand, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, he already used the other one. Yeah. Used on Boom. Hero Power Pass. I mean, this is what the game, state of the game is. We're five cards in remaining, or six cards in, per player. Well, he's just got to get his Alex Straza before yeah. he does anything. That's and like the trigger. Again, it's on the onus of the priest. So I still feel like the Maz is in a pretty decent spot. There's two Recombobulators? Double, double Recombobulators. Wow. wow. I didn't anticipate wow. that. 
See, because this is insane. One, one like, is the, already pretty greedy. The things he <laughs> yeah. can do with his hand is so crazy here. I love Gara's decks, man. But it's... It, oh, That's a dead card. It's so <laughs> greedy with his yeah. decks. It's impossible. Acolyte is very weak in this position because now it might be the point where Priest wants to you to draw cards. Yeah. So that way... And it can keep healing it up. Yeah, I would I would never play that right here. With although, this few cards left in the deck, no, screw that. Although it's it like could scary. be three. No, you don't want to use a cool taskmaster. You, you, you want to drop activator. the Acolyte of Pain on the, when, on the, uh, in the moment when uh, Gara will drop the Sylvanas. That's a good point. If he steals yeah, the, okay, the Acolyte of Pain, then you can push him into draw mo drawing more cards. So kind of here. Wow. It's kind of a dead card too. We're entering yeah. the the final stretch, guys. These guys are limping across the finish line. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty much nothing. Both players are just being super defensive. Well, I think these guys are walking across oh, the man. finish line like they've walked across. Double this whole game. of pain. Yeah. That's all. This is like they haven't really damaged each other that much. They both have all the powerful cards left, <laughs> like the reactive priest cards versus right. the aggressive. Uh, warrior cards, because that's just kind of the nature of the two decks. Warrior right. has the edge here because he can go above thirty points of life. Right. Yeah. But in the end, that's all you cards. have to do if they're on if they're yeah, even on fatigue, all that matters is that uh, you have the final threat on board. Yeah. Because you'll outrace them. Yeah. That's mind, mind control, control is so big. Wow. Now, wow, wow, if wow. Alex Strazo will be drawn, Alex Strazo would be so big. Yeah. No, but I mean, your opponent drew a card, so you can shield block. I mean, Amaz might still realistically feel like he shouldn't draw any more cards, but how he many, can't lose the board. How many fault steals did Gara use? Just one, this is, right? Uh, yeah, he used one. Right. So if he draws um, another thought steal, oh, another thought steal steals. then he has a 66% chance of drawing Alexstrasza. Right, he might have oh to dump his coin, Oh my god, too. that's crazy, actually. That, that could really change things. But on, on the flip side, if it's the last card, you might only have a chance to draw like, uh, one card. In yeah, cycles. there yeah. there might be one more big guy in the deck too. Right. We we can't know 100. percent Like there could Some, be something crazy in there. Like a now Baron it will Gadden. be Shadow Madness with uh, Recombobulator. Oh, and that's oh the sealed. he has to dump the coin first though, or something. He has you to you play. go first with the Shadow Madness, I think. Yeah, you yeah you Shadow uh, Madness first. Recombab, Recombab, Recombab it. Recombabs. Hmm. What you gonna deal with all that Recombobulator stuff? <laughs> I can't wait to see what he gets. Watch it just turn into a sludge belcher. What what will be the best outcome? For uh, five a mana. Five mana? Yeah. Um I don't know, man. It's tough. To <laughs> Alex Raza! It's a really high chance. And an execute. I mean, Actually, based off that, I think he's, he's got it. He's got this. <laughs> Ooh, that's a oh, no, 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 no. Holy no crap! Way. What? What? Okay, that's hold hilarious. on. I haven't used this card since the first day. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty sick, actually. We can show it to the, to the guys. I don't, the I don't actually... Did he get anything? I don't see a card that he huh? recombobulated. This is a tree, man. <laughs> You're a nerd. <laughs> but don't you see that he has, like, two branches in his hand, so he's, he's acting for a tree? Yes. Oh, my God. That's so funny. I had no idea. That's Ancient of Lore. That's just a tree. All it is a tree, tree, man. A 6-6 six, six tree. I thought they were like little druid divining cards right? or something. Well, Emperor Thorazin makes everything cheaper, and it is a threat. Although... Oh, Thorazin's a good drop. It's it's interesting because... Like, now you don't have the biggest minion on board, but that Ogre Ninja is so complicated because of combat math. Well, well I'm th fascinated. I don't even math that. That's like... <laughs> Do you even math? I don't even math. Wait, where's his brawl? Didn't he have a brawl? He, he used it. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember now. Okay. Like, because this wouldn't be a bad brawl board at all. Yeah. <laughs> this is really bad now for Moz because uh, he's used up almost all of his removal. There's only one execute left in Alex Raza. And Gara has Gara's three or four map. removal. So now it's to the point where he has to really just start dropping bombs. Yeah. And make sure that uh, he can start oh, wow. winning on board. That's a last resort play. Oh, is he going to hit he it? He needs to hit the 6-6. Six, six. Oh, oh, man. Man. Can't wow. believe it. Oh, my God. Can you steal the Ragnaros? Yeah, Savannah's... Uh, or, um, you can. You can. You use the Execute on the Armorsmith. Kill the 
Uh, yeah, he killed could. Kill the 2-2 with the attack of, of Reckon Blade. He can. And then Shadow but Sylvanas. If Shadow these guys yeah. are writing down every card, can you write down cards in this tournament? Yes. yes okay, they, they should be because these guys are both like really, really good pros. So he knows that there's a BGH left in his hand. Right. Because there is never a warrior deck that doesn't have a BGH. And there's Execute, too, which yeah. you could have been drawn. Yeah, that's true. Cards. He just took an Execute, for God's sake. So. But... The important thing is that he baits it out, and uh, in the end, again, only one minion has to stick for either player, because yeah. at this point, you're going to outrage your opponent in fatigue. Yeah. You sure of that? I must two cards, two cards versus one. And, yeah, uh, but and then, was like, with the fatigue like next he's turn. working on three cards effectively. Yeah, but yeah, the Alex Straza can be... Oh, no, no there's four right, cards yeah. in, in his hand, basically, now five. Because um, acolytes are dead cards. What do you think about just dropping the Alexstrasza here? And you execute the rag. You don't have like an execute. No, it executes the last card. The last oh, card. I'm so sorry. I was looking at the pre-stand. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, but but uh, Garo will get fatigue from the next turn. So if you he get can, him to he can fatigue, shield fatigue, block. fatigue still doesn't matter as nearly as much though. Look, why don't you just BGH it? Like it, it'll start mattering. When his opponent's taking like four or five damage, you just have to stop taking board pressure. You can draw the execute with your shield slam, uh, shield block right now. Yeah, you can. Do you need that execute for this? Because you know that he's going to steal at least one more thing. You know that he has like Sylvanas and stuff. Why don't you just BGH this? He can also anticipate the Alexstrasza from the fold Because that was like 66% yeah. chance of going. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But so he drops the Emperor. The makes thing is, Alexstrasza doesn't do anything immediately on the board. Yeah, Rag does, okay. so you have to. So, I think Gara might be forced to Sylvanas brawl here because he doesn't want to use a Shadow Word Death because he knows his opponent still has Alexstrasza. The, you most likely will use your Alexstrasza to heal yourself at the point when you'll be like at three points. Of yeah, point. yeah, right. I think that's where he will. And use you will get it. additional one turn to play. Right. Or maybe he can just brawl and remove whatever comes out. He can save some uh, That's probably better. Yeah, he goes for it. No I don't know. He goes for it. He has to because he's running out of time, and he knows his opponent has Alex Straza. So if he plays too slow on the board, his opponent will will pressure him. I don't know that I'm 100% with that move that we just saw. Like, I understand it, but I don't... I feel like I would have taken the until the right. bottom of the rope that turn 100%. This is actually getting so, so complicated. Right. Well, how can Gara deal with three threats? Uh, it's not. They're not really that. Execute his own Sylvanas. It's still funny a year later, man. <laughs> a year? A year and a half. A uh, year and like time. a month. Long he time, did it in time. like February really? of 2014. Oh, okay. Did it, was it that recently? I did. I actually I, read it in my feels diary. Like it was I said, "Dear diary, this is a year since Artosis tried to execute his Sylvanas." LOL. That was the internal entry, that's it. Well, I'm sure there's more than one page about me in there, so Gara I am flattered. Absolutely. <laughs> you know it, Dan. It's um, so funny that uh, that Amaza has basically like four cards in his hand, because right. you can't use Acolytes of Pain, and the shield block is kind of... Well, so he was a little bit unlucky with how late he drew his Acolytes. Like, yeah, that's true. The game could have looked a bit different, but I feel like Gara played this like so godly, and... It's still not over, though, because... Yeah. He has three threats, and there's two forms of removal in uh, Gara's hand. So if you play Sylvanas here, you can still slow play this because of exactly what you said, uh, Lothar. If he's taking pressure from fatigue and it's starting to rack up, you can Alex draws ahead. So if you drop yeah. Sylvanas here, you force him to complicate the board and maybe trade everything in and then drop Alex Straza, and then you can... And then you can't proc for execute. Because no he can actually can. narrow down You actually technically left. can because Gromash can attack into it and then execute. No, I'm talking about the other way around. Oh, 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 you're right. Uh, like, Amaz, if he has to trade all in, which he should do here, he should be trading all in, then he can never proc for the execute. The execute right. is a dead card, so he has, like, two dead cards there, basically. Mm -hmm. And now, if Gar is smart, he trades two it dead in cards and lets three. the Northshire Cleric get stolen, so that way he can force his opponent to catch up. <laughs> Dude, you know what's no, going to happen? Is, this is exactly really what happened. Yeah, he trades really good. full in, okay? We have Gar trade full in, and then we're going to have... Um, eventually, Alex Straza is going to have to be played by... Gara? Right. And then Gromash, Such because it's nine health, can hit him to proc execute. for the execute. And that's it. And that's it. Priest can't do anything. Yeah. Because Warrior wins. There's only two forms of removal and there's no more bombs uh, after that. That's the problem with the Sylvanas Blood. Unless, play. but the thing is, uh, You're Gara's. Right. You're right, but he also needed to take it out because Alex Straza with the board could instantly kill him. 
Gara is looking yeah. at this. Why doesn't he just do the execute here? Why doesn't he run his 3 2 into this and execute? Well, is, it, that? is that okay? Is that doable? Uh, and then play Alex Straza? Ah. <sighs> yeah, I think. <laughs> but then ah, the no, opponent I just mean, drops. Maybe he plays Alex Straza and just goes for it straight up. Okay. And like just I'm pressure because that's the winning play. I'm fine with it, yeah. You know what? You're right. He, that's, that is the winning play because it really looks like. And now, like uh, Amaz has it. I'm pretty sure Amaz just has to make sure that he has the just a minion on board to pressure. Oh, what happened? Force and woke up. No, it's not. Okay. Mine's back. You sure of that? Area. Yeah, I'm quite sure, yeah. Okay. Mine's uh, older than that, actually. <laughs> okay, so let's think about this. Okay. Um, that was a really good move from Gara because yeah, that, was, that was like the one chance he has to win this game. If he just played a control, he would have uh, potentially lost. Okay, no, I, you run Sylvanas in, I guess, and then hopefully you steal Alex Straza from it. And if you don't, you execute. Yeah, and you can actually. Here's a problem. And then you can you can just Alex Straza him. Oh, wait, no, because he has no, the no, execute. Because no. he, he has Shadow of Death. Here's another problem too. Yeah. If you steal Northshire Cleric. And then he has oh. a 2-2 survives. He's going to make you draw a lot of cards. Yeah, yeah you just That's lose true. auto. The um, circle of healing is, circle so, of healing is really big. So, so he has to be... V I mean, he has to weigh the option of 66% chance. So you grow much first to kill the right. priestess? Uh, maybe. Just to guarantee that you don't die to it. Oh, wow. Oh, he's, oh, 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 oh. He's going oh. for it. Oh. oh, no! That's a really big deal. Yeah, it is. And yeah, I, is that the game? Hold on. Hold on. He, he will have well, no, three, I mean, he three creatures clears both board. these. Right, but then how does he deal with Alex Straza? Yeah. Well, no, he can run both these minions into... Okay, wasn't this a mistake? Shouldn't he run the 2-2 two, two and the 1-3? No, because he has how no more minions he, on board. Yeah, how, how, does can he he win how does he game? deal? You have no damage. Yeah. And execute. No, and then you you execute the Gromash, and then when Alex Straza comes out, you still have Shadow or Death, and you're ahead on life. No, but oh, he doesn't have no any minion. minions to pressure. Like, he needs minions to damage his opponent. Oh, because he's behind on fatigue Yeah, he, he has nothing, right. he has yeah, nothing yeah. to kill his opponent, and this should seal the game. Like, really, really well played on oh, both wow. ends. But looks like Amaz is going to take the series Insane after, game. like, a, a really good series of uh, patience Greetings. and uh, sequencing being uh, damaged. Damn, right here. that was good. The, this is a really good The usual thing to do is now to talk about the other plays that could have been done, but there were so many different things happening in this game, I'm not even sure what would have been better. Uh, well, I mean, insane, the whole guys. point is that you probably will never play this matchup perfectly from the Warriors' perspective, because you don't know the removals. Uh, you don't know what they up. currently have in there. Exactly, yeah. the thought steals yeah. uh, that bi that's being taken. And so the onus is on the priest to make sure to balance that delicately. Yeah, that was that was like really, uh, really, really that was the hard. best game of the tournament for sure. Yeah. That was insane. They played so well. Like you really see their level mm -hmm. after watching that. I mean, that was uh reminiscent of like Kalento and Strifeco at Dreamhack when they would play like uh, that when Fatigue Mage was first iterated yeah, by Strifeco yeah. against uh, Warrior. That was really really well done. Yeah. Yep. Just an Yeah, no jokes match. guys. That was really sick. You guys should appreciate that. Yeah, Skill I game. hope you guys enjoyed that, man. Yeah. That was like, what an insane, insane match that was. Isn't it better when oh. you don't have to worry about... There's no Hunter in that series, guys. Yeah, there were no. Amaz, that well was played. well played right there. That was the best game of the tournament for sure. Oh, shit, I forgot to wear my archive jacket. <laughs> yeah. Use the microphone. I forgot to wear my archive jacket. So that. I guess that's how it was a debate. Okay, the Hong Kong Werewolves are the best team name in our <laughs> Oh, jeez. New team. So, uh, New Amaz, team. let's uh, let's walk through that series. Some really ridiculous moments uh, happened, but what stuck out to you more than anything in that series? What did you say just now? <laughs> His brain so is Amaz, frazzled. So, what's a better that. team name, Tempo Storm or Werewolves? Wait, what? What? Why is like that's weird? <laughs> what? Prodan right. is trying to confuse you right I, now. I'm confused after that game. That really hurt my head. It I did. Guess. I was thinking about everything. Mm -hmm. And when the Shadow Madness came out immediately, after his Recombobulator came out, I was like, usually Priest only won one, right? right. And then the second one came down, I was like really sad. Yeah, <laughs> but you hit it with the rag. Yeah. That was yeah, the winning yeah, play, actually. That was the winning play. That was a really big moment. If um, you got Fel Reaver, that would be good too for me. Yeah. Oh, oh that's so. true. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Fel Reaver is a five drop. Like a 3 3 or Fel Reaver. That's what oh, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, you're happened. you're clearly very versed in that match. I mean, you. I was casting that match with you, and you were talking a lot. And I was just quoting you essentially. Like a lot of times, Warrior doesn't have to do anything. So really good patience. Um, taking a look at back at the entire lineup of Gar, it's very sure. funky. He's got like super greedy decks, yeah. like being able to play you know, like a mid range shaman with big game hunters. It was like he's trying to kill control. No respect for the aggro. Like, how did you think your lineup matched up? Did you think like you were favored or disfavored going into it? Um, if he's really greedy, then I guess uh, my mech mage should have done well. Mm -hmm. But then both of the games were so close. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, top deck fireballs. Uh, yeah, I was. It was kind of uneasy, I guess, losing the first game especially. Um, and then, of course, my Druid games were always very awkward with the draws and whatnot. And what can you do <laughs> right. with like a you turn, bullied, that turn one three game. or turn four <laughs> Emperor that he did? And I just yeah. kind of had to give up that game. So it really all came down to the Priest versus Warrior. Mm -hmm. I mean, I saw that he had Priest left and I drew it and Warrior left, so obviously he's not gonna kill Priest first. Right, right. And I can't kill Warrior first because he's gonna kill Druid first. Mm -hmm. So that was such an important match to win, but um, yeah, Warrior pulled through at the end. Why, why didn't you bring Priest to the tournament? I why know a lot didn't of, I? Yeah, why didn't you? Um, it feels like the meta right now is very aggressive. A lot of face hunters and whatnot, and Priest is not good against face hunters at all. Have you played the um, Death Lord version with Vale's The Death Lord version is, uh, is, is good, but then you sacrifice the control, so you might right, as well not right. be playing Priest at that point, right? So um, I don't really enjoy that type of Priest too well. Okay. Although I did play it, and it got me to like Legend last season. like top 100 or something. Because there's so many hunters. Yeah, 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 yeah. which is good. <laughs> right. But then I don't think it's good in a tournament format. Fair enough. What do you think Makes about sense. Gara's... Oh, sorry. I'm, in, I'm just oh. like hogging this because yeah. I'm really... I was <laughs> really hot, <laughs> hyped by that series. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, sorry, last question that right. you guys can ask. So what do you think of Gara's Priest play? He's a player that uh, people don't really know him for Priest, but uh, it's his favorite class and you even recognize him as a top Priest player. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, in Millennium House Cup, we're the only players who bought Priest mm -hmm. and we were talking about a lot like well, what to do with Priest and whatnot. And, uh, you know, there's not a lot of priest players in the community right now, and Gar is one of them. I guess uh, another person is like Nightmare. Yeah, yeah. and, you know, Zed yeah. a lot. And, or, I, and you know. I talked to him too, and he would send me lists and whatnot, but still, like, priest is so awkward right now with the new cards. I don't know why they made Twilight Whelp when they were their zombie chow. It's like, <laughs> here, have a third and fourth zombie chow, you know, that's yeah, even you worse. Can use it with Wild <laughs> Pyromancer, oh wait, you kill your two one. <laughs> So like, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think, uh, I think I have to like learn other classes right now. And I'm actually really comfortable with Warlock now. Warlock is nice. kind of like the um, new priest with the demon uh, Paladin the was demon the new lock. priest. No, not really, because like, I'm not really sure. Because like, de demon lock is so, so, co so cool because um, the new Bane of Doom is like right. a new card, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So exactly. Warlock's kind of got three new cards this expansion. Yeah. So. Sick. What about yeah. Rogue? Rogue? When you will play Rogue? Oh, um. In formats that we have to bring every single class, I guess I'll bring Rogue. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> but yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I think you said specifically that, Lothar. I mean, I trained... <laughs> no, no, that was, that was the first one. Oh, okay. I, I think it was Artosis, game, actually. Yeah. That was me that oh, said yeah. that. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> Rogue is, like, sketchy. I don't like the, I don't like the play yeah. style. Mm. Um, I mean, I feel kind of dirty playing Druid already because you're kind of cheesing your opponent with, like, Innervate and whatnot. And Rogue is even worse, so... Yeah. And Mech Mage, and it's like you bring Mech Mage, Rogue, and Druid, and it's like. Well, I mean, if you don't bring Mech Mage, then Druids are gonna roll over me, and right. everybody's bringing a Druid. And then you, you, so you, you didn't want to bring Hunter either. Sorry. You didn't want to bring Hunter because. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> 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 I mean, I want to play Hearthstone, so. Oh, okay. oh that, that's, yeah. that's. I mean, different definitions for different people. Wow, but shots fired at, at every Hunter player in the world. But at the same the time, world. like, there's so many Druids that I think Mech Mage is just like. You just alienated smart, like 90% you know? of ladder. Yeah, even but, though uh, Mech Mage is like everywhere. And I'm playing Hunter too. As you should be. You did play Hunter, and you played the shit out of it, huh. Lothar. You did really good. So, uh, everything actually got erased out of my brain after watching that. Okay, so you're actually going up. Tice lost. Ign Ignite. You're playing Ignite. against Ignite. Right. What, what do you think about that? You must have. Yeah, you were watching that match. You were worried about playing us. Tice again. You were like, oh, I played Tice like five times the past year. Well, I wasn't worried. It's just that it's kind of, kind of boring. <laughs> I guess I want to play against new players. Yeah, I wow. hate Tice right. too. No, not like that. But Tice, did you hear that? Amasa get actually, a personality. I ra rather on uh, Tice won that match because now they face against another priest, so it's gonna be yeah. It's gonna be like priest versus priest a brain is hard screw up all over again. All right. Well, yeah. we don't want to take too much of your time. Do, I, you guys have any questions? No, no. Oh, that's Amos. good. That's okay. good. Well played. Uh, man. Well played, Amasa. Congratulations. Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and jump to a quick little commercial That's break, right. guys. And when we come back, we will have the winner match, which actually will be Ignite versus